How's everybody doing? So, sorry it's pretty late tonight. A few days off. Find my center. Come. Oh. January. Beginning of February and, and beginning of the new year. A little. Um. Is that one? Hello, hello. Did did that work? Now it's still not really picking up. Okay, now it's B. It just needs to be a lot closer to my mouth. Hold on. Okay. Okay. I think we got it now. Uh, welcome, guys. It's going to be a late night. But we're going to get through it together. All right, we're going to start off today with 12 new kanji by day 15. Do two, two full months of us studying. Oh, what a go. Session. Let's see what we got. First up, first up is Usutsu. Usutsu. First up is Usutsu. Usutsu. <laughs> Usutsu is to transcribe, duplicate, reproduce. To imitate, reproduce, to trace, to imitate, to trace. Whoops. All right, and. What we're going to take from this is Kanji itself, we've seen before. And the, the Kanji stands for um, to copy something, a copy, which goes well with our transcription to trace. Also to describe or to film. Kanji itself, we also saw in um, Shashin no Sha. 
It's that first kanji of Shashin almost. Let me just confirm something here. Yes. So this is the Shah of Shashin. For to copy, be photographed, or to describe something. So if you're studying along with me, what you're going to do is instead of writing the kanji itself ten times, we're just going to write the word out five times. Utsusu. 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 Just those two characters. Utsu is this kanji itself, and su is going to be the following hiragana. So, utsu su. To copy, to transcribe, to describe, to duplicate, or to reproduce. Utsu su. Number two, moving right along. Suki wa modoru. Modoru. Modoru is to turn back halfway. To return, to recover, to rebound. Kanji itself has modosu as an alternative reading, as well as rei. So rei is going to be our onyomi, that is the way it was sounded out originally in Chinese, or the closest Japanese reproduction of that. So re, which is re, return, revert, resume, restore, or to go backwards. Re, hokani modoru or modosu is the way you pronounce this one. Our kanji for this are door over the top. This top left hand corner is door. And underneath we have the big. So when you take the big door, you're returning or going back. Modoru or modosu. To turn back halfway, to return or to recover. Re hokani modoru. So what we're going to do now is just write down the kanji ten times in a row. In an effort to kind of remember it in a very rote fashion. My style for studying is pure rote memorization with a little bit of kind of imagination and imagery. But for the most part, it's rote. Modoru re. To take the big door. Modoru. Take the big door back to return. Go back to recover. Genki modotta is kind of a colloquial way that one might say, yes, I'm all better now, or I have healed up. Uh, I shouldn't say that. The way I said it, Makes it sound more like a question. Anyway, all right, our next one is going to be coal height. Coal height. If 
you were here a few days ago, back before my break, you know that our second kanji is hai, as we studied in the word senpai. And for those of you that have watched anime, you probably know that a senpai is someone older than you in class or at work. And just in the same way, this is a kohai, which is a junior at school or at work, younger people or a younger student. The first kanji over here is underneath, and our, or behind, I should say, behind, or before. Not before, sorry, behind. And our second kanji is a friend or a comrade. The radicals for this one are a bad and cart. And I don't know why friends are the bad car, which is that that's why we're doing rope memorization because so many of these have kind of imagery meanings that are very hard to connect with the actual meaning. But at least the first one behind uh, makes kind of sense since we're dealing with younger people or younger students or the ones coming after you, your comrades coming after you or behind you. Kohai. So since we've studied both of these kanji once before, I am just going to write the entire word down, kohai, in kanji, five times over. If you feel like it, you can write it a few more times than that. That's not a big deal. Kohai. Kohai this. A comrade after you. Whole high. Your juniors or people younger than you. Whole high. Kohaitis, a junior, a younger people, younger than you. Kohai. Tsuki wa doubutsu en. Doubutsu en. Doubutsu en. Doubutsu en is a combination that actually does make sense. Um, and it means a zoo. Or a zoological gardens. As we've studied before, a koen is a garden, or a public garden, I should say, or public park. So this last kanji is that. This is a garden, or a park. A courtyard, it really is, but we're going to call it a garden. Our first kanji is do, for a moving thing, using the power on the right side of movement on the left. The next kanji is mono, or actual, physical, tangible thing that we can feel, know, and grasp. Butsu, so do for movement, thing for mono, and en for a garden. So the do butsu en is the moving thing garden, or the zoo garden for animals. Do butsu themselves are animals. Do butsu are animals, and this is garden. And again, since we've studied all these kanji, kanji before, I won't list out the individual kanji as I did for Rei on Modoru, and I'm just going to study writing the kanji compound word out itself five times. Dobutsuen. Do. 
Warte. To. と動物園。ある、ルーヴンレグロ。ナンバーファイブ。次は、セイさん。As you'll notice, the first kanji is a part of the second, though they really don't have much to do with each other. Seisan is production or manufacture something. Our first kanji, which we've studied before, is life, genuine, or birth. So, kind of the making of something. And our second kanji is products, bear or to give birth, childbirth, yield, native, or property. This is umu. Let's see if I can get it with umu. No. Umu. Our secondary kunyomi, that is the way that the Japanese have、um, kind of adopted it to be said. Is Ubu, Ubu. And our original Chinese translation is Sam. And again, this is the kind of Japanese interpretation of a Chinese sound. Sam this. These are products. Bear or give birth. Yield. Native. So, as you can see from the meanings of this kanji, the compound word really means something like the making of products, which is production or manufacture. But you could also read it the making of giving birth or the making of yield. And that makes sense too. The, it's really the birth of birth, is the way that kind of my. My mind reads it.、Um, but this, this should be products. So, anyway, the kanji compounds for this one, or, or the radicals that make up this second kanji, are tatsu over the top to stand over,、uh, again, this same kanji for life or to, to be born. So, when you're already standing up after birth, you have been made, you are a production. Seisan. Seisan desu. Hokani umu or ubu. And since this is the only kanji that I haven't studied in this word, I'm just going to study writing it ten times. And then at the end, I'll write our word together two times. Umu, ubu, or san for products. Umu, ubu, or san for products. When you're standing after birth, you have been produced. You are your mother's yield. Umu, ubu, or san. As in seisan. Seisan no san. When I say that, when I say seisan no san, I'm trying to say the kanji. The kanji sound in the way that a Japanese person might describe a kanji that they're trying to tell another person to use. So when I say se san no, I'm saying it's. No is the possessive、um, particle. Or to say that something it, it belongs to someone else. So I'm saying it's the se san. 
No, son, I'm saying it's the son that comes from the word. Say son. Which is product, product, a yield or to give birth. As in say son. The making of yield, which is manufacture or production. As in say son. Ja, tsugi wa. Tsugi wa means next. Tsugi literally means next. Tsugi wa tsurete iku. Tsurete iku. Tsurete iku. Iku on the back end is a kanji we've already studied. Let me see if I can make it do the right one. There it is. Tsurete iku. We've already studied iku, which is just to go. And sureru is the only one that we need to study, so let's copy that one down here. Tsurete iku means to take someone along or to lead someone away. Tsurete ike. Go with them. Tsurete iku. To go along with someone else. The kanji itself has tsureru as one reading, tsuranaru as another, tsuranaru. And that's our kunyomi, again our Japanese reading, and this is our onyomi, which is ren. ren. And this means to take along, lead, Join or connect. And for now, I'm only going to think of these first two meanings because oftentimes kanji have more than one meaning, and honestly, one's enough for me to try and remember at one time. Tsuranaru ren. Tsurete iku no tsurete. The radicals in this one are movement on the left side and car in the center. The moving car is tsureru. The moving car takes people with it. Tsurete iku. Tsuranaru. Tsuranaru. Okami ren. Tsuranaru ren. Tsuranaru or Ren. Tsurete iku no tsurete. Tsuranaru. Tsureru. Tsurete iku no tsurete. Tsurete iku. To take someone along or to go along with someone. To lead someone. Somewhere. Mm. I need to know how it's used. To lead or to take someone along. じゃあ次 次は uh, next one's an easy one this is suruto suru suruto and if you've studied a little bit of japanese before and if you haven't welcome to the show um you know that suru is to do pretty much anything suru is the verb that they add to nouns in order to make that noun a an action verb. So, for instance, sanpo means a walk or to take a walk, which in itself is a noun, right? It's a walk, a stroll. However, when you say sanpo suru, you're meaning to do the actual act of strolling. It's it's transformed into the verb into the verb by 
adding suru to the end of that noun. So suru to means thereupon or hereupon some other thing happening. So sampo suru to thereupon strolling hano omite omiteita. I, I was seeing some flowers. Thereupon going for a stroll, I was seeing some flowers. Sampo suru to hanaga mite kimoshita. Came to see some flowers. So for these hiragana words that are just hiragana and aren't some kanji that I need to memorize, I just like to write it out a few times to get kanji practice. Suruto, suruto, suruto. Thereupon or hereupon. Suruto. Suruto. <coughs> Number eight. This is going to be the first of many Sai words, all using that same first kanji. And this one means recently, lately, these days, nowadays, or right now. We already learned another way to say this, another word, which is konogoro, which is around this time. Um, around this era. But this one reads really psyching, like the last instance of a thing. Nearest or closest. Kin is also our kanji for chikaku, which is to be close to something else. Chikai is close to or near. So let's look at what our second, our first kanji means. The only the kunyomi for this one is motomo, and our onyomi is sai. Saikin no sai. And motomo or sai means the utmost extreme or most. So the utmost close thing is recently, lately, these days, nowadays, right now, nearest or closest. The utmost nearby thing, the nearest or closest, used colloquia colloquially as recently or lately. Saikin, saikin wa, saikin wa tashi wa hima desu ne. Lately, I have taken, I've been on break. I have had some leisure time away from kanji study, but now I am back in a tour de force. The radicals in this kanji or day or the sun over top of to take. So when something takes a day, it's the utmost work. And that's going to be how I try and remember this. So again, we're going to write this kanji 10 times with the sun over to take. And it takes a day to give your utmost. Or the utmost is only given in the space of a day. Saikin no sai, okani motomo. Saikin no sai, okani motomo. Saikin no sai, okani motomo. Saikin no sai, kani motomo. 
イキンのサイです。他に、ノットマン。ハズワンサイキン。サイキン。Recently, lately, the nearest closest instance of thumping of something. Excuse me. Next is another gimme. サンダル。Can anyone guess what a サンダル is? That's right. It's a sandal. サンダル is a sandal. And again, if it's just a hiragana and or katakana word, then we're just going to write out the hiragana and or katakana five times just to get some practice with our other libraries. Sandaru. Sandaru. Hmm. Number 10. Moving right along. Sigi wa fuyu yasumi. Fuyu yasumi. This is winter break or winter vacation. We've already studied yasumi, and I think we might have studied winter too. You know what? I'm going to say we've studied winter because I already know that kanji. Um, this is just winter. I like to think of it as kind of a cutting over snow, or maybe a snowman over the snow, over these two layers of snow on the bottom. And Yasumi is a person I like to think resting under a tree for a break or a vacation. Fuyu Yasumi. Fuyu Yasumi. Fuyu Hokani To is our first kanji, and our second one is Yasumu or Q. Yasumu. Fuyu Yasumi. Fuyu To Yasumi. じゃあ次は何だろうな<笑> A funny one for our next one is お尻お尻 is your butt お尻 This is the bottom or butt butt talks お尻 Another word for it is ketsu but I think that's a little bit more vague or、uh, vulgar excuse me Our kunio for this is shiri, our onyomi is ko. Sorry, ko. Ko. Shiri to ko. Which means buttocks. Hip, hips, butt. Or rear. Buttocks. Hips, butt, or rear. Radical for this one's our corpse over the top of the number nine. Hmm. A corpse's nine is. A corpse's nine. Where's nine on a clock? I, I actually have to look at this because it's been so long since I looked at an analog clock. Twelve, nine. Nine's on the left side. Corpse is nine. Corpse at nine. How am I going to remember buttocks or bottom? A corpse is nine. I guess a nine kind of makes the shape of a butt. So I'll try and think of it like a, <laughs> a butt on a corpse. All right, here it goes with the rope memorization again for this one because we can't think of a good imagery for it. The corpse is nine. Shiri, or shiri, or your butt talks about them. Or shiri. Or shiri.
Or she. It's got the honorific O at the beginning. Probably to be a little less vulgar than meeting your butt. But, maybe. Or she. The bottom, the buttocks, the rear. Or she. The corpse is nigh. And our last one for today is another gimme, another gimme, excuse me, and it's just poodle, poodle race. And this is a professional. Just like we say pro, they say pro. Professional. Poodle. 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 Pro da. Ore wa pro. I am a professional student. <laughs> That's sad. Okay. <laughs> professional. Puro. All right. Now, at the end of each kanji lesson, we're going to go back up to all the way to the top and see if we at least remember everything from the past 30 minutes. So after I save this, Kanji Day 59 and Desk Tonic Kanji Reviews. So we're going to go back to the top. We're going to hide our Kanji on the left, and we're just going to do the words themselves. So first off is to transcribe, to duplicate, to reproduce, to imitate, to trace, to describe, or to film something is utsusu. Utsusu, which is just utsu, one kanji and one hiragana, utsusu, right, utsu osu, and our next one's going to be to turn back halfway to return to recover to rebound, which is modoru, which is taking the big door, modoru, again, just one kanji and one hiragana, modoru, Yes, Moldoru. Okay. Our next one is junior, younger pupil, or younger student, which is the behind comrade. Either at school or at work, we can use a coal high. Coal high is our comrade afterwards. A zoo or a zoological garden is a dolbutsuen. Moving power. Butsu is mono or thing. Dobutsu to en, which is our park or garden. Dobutsu en, a zoo or zoological gardens. Next is production or manufacture with say san. Say for to be born and san which is when you're standing after being born, you have been produced. You are a product of your mother. T trademarked, Mama X. You are yield. Being born is maybe one of the only times you get to think of yourself as yield. That's you, you are the product. Tell me about that, it's funny to me. Next is Tsurete Ike. Or tsurete iku, to take someone along, to lead someone away, to bring someone somewhere. Tsurete iku. And when you're bringing someone along, I don't remember what it looks like. Uh, yes, I do. Okay, it's the moving car. You are the moving car bringing someone somewhere. So it's a car with the movement radical. Tsu and then re te and hiragana with ike. It looks like you can put iku either in hiragana, or if you want, you can write the katakana. It doesn't really. You can write the kanji. It doesn't really seem to matter. Tsurete iku. Tsugi wa thereupon a hereupon, which is suru to. To is kind of like and. And without going into further detail, I'll just tell you it's and. So it's like, sampo suru, we walked, and then 
just kind of there upon or here upon. Recently, lately, or these days is Psyche, which is the utmost close thing. Psyche, recently, lately, nearest or closest. Next is Sandal, which is just sun butter. So, hmm. Yatsumi with Fuyu, and the layers of snow, and Yasumi with the person laying next to the tree. Fuyu Yasumi. Tsugiwa Batak's Bottom, which is a corpse's nine. And mark my words, by tomorrow I will have forgotten that. Osiri is our Batak's or Bottom. Osiri. Oshiri. Yeah, and our last one is professional, which is just poodle. You're a poodle. You're a poodle professional watcher, and I thank you for sticking with me on this day 59 as we get back into the swing of studying our kanji after taking a long weekend break. Uh, so I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Welcome to the perfectly square month. I know I'm happy that February is a perfectly square month because we perfectionists need to be absolutely Yiddish. That's probably race. I'm not Yiddish. Anyway, thanks for joining me, everybody, and I hope you all have a wonderful night. Oyasumi Asai.